I'm wondering about the emotional guidance scale more specifically. Does everyone have the same emotional guidance scale? Well, really, it's an interesting thing, isn't it? Because the relationship between who you really are and where you are, that's what equals your scale. Who you really are and where you are. Life has caused you to become more and more and more. Now we know it's confusing. Sometimes we talk about the scale this way. Sometimes we talk about the scale this way, but this tuned into who you really are. That's the receiving mode. And so when you're in the receiving mode, you're in that love and appreciation and so forth. And the further you get from it, the worse it feels. And you have lots of different ways that you describe in words, what that variance is. But of course, this is the perfect question at this point in our workshop evolution because of course it's different for everyone because no two people are in exactly the same place that's why your navigational systems that you have in your vehicles or in your phones don't just have one destination and one current location they don't all say okay all of you must go to Atlanta and then we'll lead you to where you want to be or they don't just say go to Atlanta and then we'll lead you to the only place that we can navigate you to there are infinite possibilities aren't there just as there are infinite possibilities of what you might have put into your vortex and where you might be in relationship to it so the scale itself we mean your awareness of the emotions that you are feeling but all of that is a variable depending upon how much you want it, how long you've wanted, how much momentum there is, how many engines you've got going that way, how many engines you've got going that way. Every emotional scale and every guidance system is individually tailored precisely to you.